This is the Doctor continuing the Battle Brothers Season 12 Anonymous playthrough. In the last episode, we found the last southern city. Couldn't get any uh, assassin recruits, but that's okay. We found a potential Geralt candidate. Now, I have to say, he is definitely on the surface a Battleforge character. And if I could find pretty much any other candidate, I would make him a Battleforge brother. Like, the stars are... Uh, in fatigue, the iron lungs, like, it's a little too perfect. Um, the initiative stars are nice, but it's better to have high base initiative. Since you don't need to up initiative that much to take advantage of it. Yeah, like, 115 base initiative, that would be, like, much better than just having two stars. 103 is actually quite bad. Now, 95 base fatigue also isn't great, but, you know, give him brawny or something, he'll be fine. Uh, nevertheless... If I literally can't find anyone else, I need to make Garrow, and this cell sword's as good as any. I, however, have plenty of time left in the game, uh, and I intend on hitting up a lot of these cities. I've heard that new background, the Oath Takers, are actually a really good choice. They have good initiative, so and like good other stats. So, in fact, that's almost certainly going to be my Garrow candidate if I can find a good Oath Taker. In the meantime, I'm going to keep exploring. And let's see what else we find. Reloaded the save so the music is not on. Okay, look at that. We found the sunken library. That's all I really care about finding. All this other stuff, like, I don't even have to explore. Or I'll find another opportunity to fit them in. I might actually be able to beat the library now. It'd be pretty close. You don't need full level 11 guys. However, this is also the Anatomist, and they have serious, serious problems. So I am not going in there without a level 11 team. It's just a little too, like, too risky with this origin. I don't have any of my Super Soldier brothers or anything like that, and without confidence, it is so, so dangerous. So you know what? I will come back here maybe in, like, 30, 40 days, and we'll take care of that library at that point. For now, let's just get everybody leveled up. I'm thinking we head north, cut our way through Orc territory to Wizen House, and then I want to go by Nets to fight Barbarians, so I should end up here around day 47, 48, take a boat. We should have uh, more than enough time to fight some Barbarians. Any other paths I can take? I've already killed most of the desert. There's very little point in traveling back there. So I think going north exploring this fog is the way to go. There's a small band of orcs. Might as well take care of them since I'm here. Plus, their footprints suggest to me that there's an orc camp to the... Ooh, okay, that's the orc camp. I'll take care of both these small camps off camera. Um, in one of the fights, Lord Irva took a cheeky hit. But otherwise, no problem. It's actually kind of annoying because Lord Irva's armor is, like, valuable. You know, swap it out for some crappier armor in the next fight. Alright, some berserkers don't need to record that. Although, I notice I have some level ups. Aya, another good... Oh, plus four defense. What more could you want? Plus four hit points. That should, once this, uh, sick gets out, you should have almost 100 hit points, which is very good. Nataros, range defense, why not? Goblin City, all the way. Your attack scores are very impressive, buddy. What was I even doing with you? I honestly have no idea. Um, I was going to potentially give you Steel Brow plus something else, but let's get you student. I want to see who's going to get to level 11 first. Is it going to be Aya or is it Nataros? They both have student now. Nataros has a slight lead, but it's going to be a fair competition now. I want to find out who is going to get to level 11 first. Um, Berserker. So I need to readjust anything. They are kind of semi-dangerous. Uh, might want to give Aspen a pull weapon of some sort. There is an extra bill hook when you need one. There you go. I could bring Flirpeter. Aspen has better attack, though. Flirpeter, we'll bring you in some other fight. Don't worry, buddy. One of the berserkers managed to get a 
AoE flail round swing off on me because I wanted to put Nataros and Krog and all these characters in the line of fire. Actually, that's not true. Krog failed his spear wall. That's what happened. Buddy, do a better job with your spear walls. Here, fix this armor. You know what? I'm gonna fix some armors. Honestly, I don't even care about the 90 armor anymore. I have like just literally better armor is the problem. Or maybe it's not a problem. It's a, it's a good problem to have. Anyway, let us keep going. Climbing on top of this mountain tells me there are goblins afoot. Uh, I don't know if I want to kill too many of these camps right now. Just because I still want to... I want to see that ambition. I want to know what my ambition is. And it would be ideal to proc something like kill goblins or kill orcs so I can get the trinket. Alright. Well, I guess I'm killing this goblin camp. Now I can step on the mountains and take a look. I don't know if I w I might even want to go back to Sunstead. But I feel like I was just there not that long ago. Why isn't house is going to be better? What is this, uh, Overseer? I think this is the first time we fought Overseers. I'll record this. Okay, got some more levels. Klaus, plus three defense, I will take that. Huh, your other rows are really quite terrible. Might honestly take the plus two resolve since that's so bad. What's your, um, if I actually equip you in proper Nimbo gear with like one shield, you are four, eh. Actually, don't mind upping your fatigue just a little bit more. I'll skip the plus two resolve here. I can always take Fortify Mind to fix that. Thing is, I want to try to have 70-ish. Right, and then um, this is 19, so plus 475. Eh, it's, I could always swap to a dagger in some fights. I think this is enough fatigue. What was your perk, Indom? I mean, it's useless against the goblin, so I might as well save it. Uh, Flirpeter, buddy. More initiative? I don't think I was going to go initiative with you is the thing. I don't think that was the case. I can't put you in the front. The goblins would kill you. Uh, put you in the back. Maybe right over here. Uh, in fact, you actually need a hunting bow since you have range problems. I don't even remember what I was going to do with you. More hit points. I think I wasn't going to do anything crazy with you because this origin is hard. I think that's what it was. I don't know what range weapon you're going to be yet. So you, you wait, buddy. You wait. Where is another quiver of arrows? Where are all my arrows? Okay, there we go. The Taros, um, Headhunter, I think, is fun. Lots of fun. I, I just, I can't not hunt the heads, you know? I just, I can't do it. Can't do it. I also think it's a good perk. Uh, I thought it was good, like, before the buff. I don't even know why it was buffed. I think Headhunter was plenty strong, but... Pathfinder? Eh, don't really need that yet. I don't know what I'm going to do with Flurp Derp. So let's just attack this goblin camp. Not too worried. It's a small goblin camp. 12 gobos are shooting Aspen. Yes, he likes it. Did I get the high ground on them? That's not bad. Huh. I also don't mind stepping back just a little bit and then baiting them. I can win an artillery duel on this high ground. I kind of like that. All right, as tempting as the high ground is, I'm going to take it, but I still did the false retreat trick. Now that I've lured them out of their hidey holes, they are much more vulnerable. 39% rhubarb swing and a miss. Flirpeter. 
33%. Swing and a miss, of course. Why wouldn't you miss? The Taros. Get up on that high ground and get ready for some javelin nonsense. I don't want to go too far. Everybody now rush them. If any of them are stupid enough to take the high ground, they're going to be in trouble. I have a lot of damage I can concentrate in the middle there. Okay, that one's a prime target for arrows. Gotta watch out for the Overseer. It's pretty dangerous. Get Pendant up. Well done, Decapitate. He has a Headhunter. That's gonna be fun. And your turn immediately, buddy, because I did not give you Relentless. Wait, Outrageous. That one did not shoot. Fascinating. The Taros. Let's row. Alright. I want to try to zone that Overseer. Uh, Krong, move up. Stab. Ah, no kill. That's okay. Okay, I changed my targeting priorities. Lots of misses. Klaus can get in there. Yes, I like that. Yeah, your turn immediately, why not? Geralt, good kill. Aspen, wait. Aya, you can wait as well. Klaus <coughs> can take it. I don't wanna get netted. Move Rages over here. Yes, yes, Klaus can take it. They, he didn't get to shoot his crossbow, which is very good news. I want this guy to come up. I'm going to put Aspen here. Maybe we'll put Aya here. Alejandro is probably going to get netted. Alright, let's see if we can bait them into not netting me. Now I can get a free net out of this. What? Klaus? There's, how can you panic against goblins of all creatures? That's crazy. Oh, okay. There we go. I have the headhunter stack. How can I exploit that? I can hit the Overseer really, really hard. Double throw here. 83. This might kill, though. Okay, it's not a one-shot kill. It's almost a one-shot kill. And your turn, Pendant. Wow, stop getting hit. Oh, whoops. That guy was fleeing. I shouldn't have done that. My bad. 69%. Well done, Rages. Wait. Klaus, your armor is wrecked. Hmm, that was valuable armor, too. 91%. The Taros, it would kill. You have a headhunter stack. Let's figure out what to do with that in a bit. Barb, shoot away. Can't hit. Of course not. No Grod, you also can't hit. That one got a dagger or not? Not sure. 27% I am. So we gonna miss, of course. I'm gonna stay safe here. We'll move Flirpiderp up. Take a quick shot. 15%. Why don't you just shield wall yourself, buddy? No need to do anything else. Get Nogrod ready. I'm actually gonna do something a little weird here. We're gonna cover everyone. The attempt to take less damage. Yes, yes. Ow. Annoying. 
Okay. One turn. Pendant's pretty quick. Let's get the Overseer and move over and end your turn immediately. Alright, he's now just in range for lots of throws. 59% rages? Actually, you might do something else. Why don't you wait, buddy? Let's get Krog up here. Is that better targeting, huh? Head hunt that clown. And a tar oh, another headshot. Beautiful. No grasswing and a miss. Rhubarb. 55. Let's go for the 55. Especially if that breaks. Gobbles, but no such luck. Move up, Aspen. Wait. Okay, Geralt. Stab the ambusher in the back. Wait here. Aya. Swing and a miss because you are sick. Not gonna move up there to get shanked by that goblin. Quick cans nonsense on Rageous. Frog, good job with the kill. Flurp derp. Uh, why don't you come down? Aspen swing and a miss. Klaus, move up. Proxim morale hits. Same deal here. Probably gonna footwork, no? Well, I was taking a beating. But that is what he is good at. Oh, well done, Pendant. Alright, this fight is basically over at this stage. One of the goblins managed to run away. Couldn't catch him without dogs. Klaus took a beating, but that's what he's there for. Alright. Got a goblin, um... Dead Eyes Drought. The goblin boss. Overseer. An additional 5% of damage ignores armor when using bows or crossbows. Obviously, very good on a crossbow. Uh, pretty garbage on a bow since they have no armor penetration. This is actually quite solid. 5% extra on like... Ooh, we got the Spiked Impaler. That is a big, big upgrade. Actually, a uh, nice, cute little potion. Uh, that makes me really want to make a bow hybrid. The question is, should it be Rhubarb or should it be Flurpaderp? I think Rhubarb is actually better as a throwing spec. Throwers move a lot, and he's got the Pathfinder nonsense. So, why don't we upgrade Flurpaderp here to a crossbow hybrid? I like it. Where is the crossbow thing? Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess for now, Rhubarb can also use a crossbow. Why not, right? Like, I have some more crossbow ammunition somewhere, right? Yeah, there you go. Why not? Two crossbows. Congratulations for Blurp. You got your Spiked Impaler. We'll figure out what else to do with you later. Oh, and you should use the potion. Where is that potion? Uh, where did it go? Dead Eyes Drought. No, that's not right. Gotta make sure to actually select the right potion. There you go. Fantastic. What else we got? Uh, a lot of armor banged up. I mean, it is what it is against these goblins, right? I really like this helmet, even though it's not good. So, might as well repair it for now. Got plenty of tools. Why don't you have a dagger, Alejandro? It's weird. Anyway, let's up on the mountain. See what we see. Goblins. That's the, uh... That's the legendary location, the Goblin City. Okay. Small orc camp. I could come around, kill the orc camp, take a loop, hit the Goblin City to proc the quest for it. That seems smart. You never know, we might find some nomads that have a buff. I kind of want to fight the buff nomads. Like, let's bring it on. Those nomads are so easy without the buff, right? I just chain fought them like five days ago. Injuries, none of that stuff matters. Like, let's let's give them dodge. So it's like, it's still not a fair fight. I'm going to slaughter them so hard, but, you know, they'll put up like one more turn of resistance. Child Snatcher's Cave. That's, that's a great name. All right, I'll take care of this offline. 
Another small orc camp that we killed without losses, of course. You know, these small camps, if they're far from civilization, they can actually contain famed items. Odds are low still, but you never know. Alright, I guess we're not fighting the nomads. Let's see what we see. Nothing? Alright, it's time to proc the goblin city. Not that I can fight it. You have to kill five goblin camps. I kind of want to know what my next ambition is. Ooh. Seven wolf riders. I don't even know if they're really worth chasing down. Especially through the mountains. Not worth it. Uh, what's the plan? I always attack the forward posts. It's quicker. Five outposts. Alright, the question is what to do now. These seven wolf riders are not even really worth my time. Especially going through the stupid mountains. Who knows how long that's going to take. I'm thinking we stick to the original plan and go to Wizen House. That seems smart. Because I want to buy nets. Like I want to do a loop around here. Buy nets. Go kill barbarians. I am not seeing a better choice in terms of things to do. And I don't want to linger around the Greenskin territory, not because I'm afraid of them, but because I want to come back here when I actually have the ambition to, like, kill their camps and stuff. It's, uh, you know, you kill two birds with one stone doing it that way. Should repair that one, though. Alright, let's keep going, see what we see. Might as well record this part, huh? I did not actually know the Goblin City could spawn, like, roving bands. That's good to know. Alright, come on. Bring me a sea of tents. Something interesting. Not afraid. No? They're afraid of me? Fine. Everyone's... Uh, okay, what do we got? No, no. Now, I already have one man with the Hammer Mastery perk. Right? Rageous? So this is what we do to cheese the system. Where is Sasiates? I'm gonna put him in. He's the next character I'm gonna dismiss, but I'm gonna put him in to the front lines, get him to level six, take hammer mastery, and then complete my ambition. Haha, <laughs> Sasiates, you're so useful. You're like the most valuable, traumatized uh, grave robber I've ever had, buddy. Let's get you three or four more fights so we can do this ambition. Uh, Ancient Tempo, I don't want to activate that. You get the uh, potions for the Black Monolith, the Undead thing, Holy Water, whatever it's called. Those are actually pretty good weapons, uh, grenades, especially for that fight. Alright, come on game. I've been wandering around for days with no battles. Gotta give me something. Alright. There we go! A sea of tents! That's a warlord? I think? I'm actually not confident I can beat this. If it weren't a, a champion? That's like 19 orcs. This, um, remember in the previous series at day 50, I fought, um, like a similar comp. But this is a very different scenario. I don't have the same level of weaponry. That's the main thing. But I do have a lot of direwolf pelts. There's also no reason why OMG Pop has to use the flail, which is not good here. I could just give him like a hard hitting weapon. I do have a lot of pole hammers, but I have no dogs. 
I think it is extraordinarily difficult to do this fight without losses. But I haven't had anything fun. And Klaus is probably going to die in this battle. Let me reorganize. Okie doke! I am going to fight this Sea of Tents, including the Orc Warlord Champion. This is going to be absolutely insane. Oh boy. And I can't hold back. I'm fielding all my best guys, including OMG Pop. Honestly, if he dies here, that's okay. Like, um... Uh, he has his potion, which... Uh, and Nimbo, so he can take a lot of hits. And let's see how strong he can get with the flail. I also put a bill hook in his pocket, just in case. Uh, we do have some hard-hitting weapons, including Rages' weapon and Aya's weapon. We have Alejandro's infinite uh, shield walls. Two heavy shields. He should be able to survive for a while, as long as he's not up against a flail berserker something like that if he's just up against a regular orc warriors he can live for quite a while um we have klaus here for some shenanigans let's take indom i think we're gonna need it now and pendant i have to take fearsome like this fight is too serious to hold back just want to take the strongest perks uh it got two nets we're gonna save them for the warlord a lot depends on how many warriors there are one thing that is going for me is I got a gazillion direwolf armor. In fact, most characters have direwolf armors uh, on the front. I have unequipped uh, most of the hyena armors because they're. Uh, I'm going to go ahead of most of the orcs anyway. And the way you beat orcs, as we all know, is just debuff their morale to hell. And they are in serious, serious trouble. Uh, I got some nets, various weapons. Brothers could definitely die here. I'm going to apply this metal pauldron onto this armor. Uh, it doesn't mess it up too much, but it does give me a little extra defense, which I will need for this fight. And we're going to replace this attachment with like a nimble attachment at some point in the future, but no reason to hold back. None of the potions are going to help. I did bring a fire pot. That could be quite strong against the orc young, but I'm not sure two would be that good. The real threat here is that Berserker, um, the Warlord, because Warlords do not break. That's what makes uh, the Champion Warlord. I, the regular Warlords, like, break. But the Champion Warlords basically don't break, which a Warlord -war should not in the first place. So this is what will make the battle interesting. Okay. Uh, brothers could die. I'm pretty confident I win. But it's going to be very hard to do this without losses. Many Orc Young. Yeah, I'm not chasing that. Take care of this little thing in a bit. There should be a famed item here. A really good chance. Like, it's not guaranteed, but... Okay. Wish. Pray for luck! And we got 16. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. Not as bad. Ooh, we got terrain blockers. I should have pocketed um, a heavier weapon on Krog. Oh well. Alright. Three super dangerous berserkers. It's not great, but it is what it is. I don't know where the warlord is. That's the highest priority. 61%. Well. I also thought about using rhubarb to do some more of that uh, nonsense with kiting. It could be a thing. It could be a thing. Let's not dismiss that possibility just yet. Pendant goes up and hits. That could be quite a strong move. Quite a strong move, actually. I like it. It. You got your headhunter stack and your turn immediately. Wait. Because I made that move with Pendant, I know I'm going to put Krog here in Spirit Wall where uh, Lord Irva is. Oh, my, oh! That is terrifying! He's got a cleaver? Is there any way I can get Alejandro over there? Maybe I could do something weird with Rhubarb to kite him?
I don't see how I get Alejandro over there. Double grip. And he's got a famed cleaver. Oh, that is terrifying beyond words. I don't have a whip. The, so here's the thing. That spear wall is going to fail. Like, I just, like, I don't even have to play the game to know, like, the spear wall is going to fail against that orc warlord. We need to net him somehow. Once he zones us, there's nothing we can do. That's the real danger. What can, uh, can I taunt him? In a weird way? Maybe. I think I need Klaus's taunt over here. Let's wait and see what else they do. Or we're almost certainly gonna move Rageous and uh, Aya over here. Here's the thing. Once you kill the Warlord, the fight's done. The Warriors are irrelevant. The Warlord is the only real threat. Aspen, you have a shield, right? Yes, okay. I was always planning to move you here. Swing. I want to make sure to not kill with you, but you might as well end your turn now. Alright, quite a few warriors. I need to think. I thought about this for a long, long time, and I have to admit... I'm having a hard time coming up with a good battle strategy. I don't want to waste Aya and Rages' turns. I want to get them start doing damage now. Plus, Aya has 40 defense, heavy armor. He's the fatigue neutral thing. If I'm not using him in a d dangerous position, why did I even, like, make him, right? Like, he's good enough to do his job now. On the right flank, we might be able to do something with Rhubarb and Krog. Like, Rhubarb, don't forget, has the infinite kiting nonsense. If we can even draw off one or two of the Orc Warriors, he's done his job, this battle. We don't need him to do any more than that. What I'm struggling with is trying to come up with a perfect position for Alejandro. Let's say I move up here. I give this Berserker a free swing. I really don't like giving Orcs free attacks on me. Especially because if the Berserker goes here, it's going to be real hard to deal with him. I could go here or here. In fact, going here is quite solid. Uh, going here, though, means Aya and Rages to split damage. Uh, going here means Aya and Rages would both be in quite some danger. They're gonna... I don't like that either. Uh, plus, like, this is a safe position. Why would I put Alejandro in a safe position? Going here is kind of interesting. But then, like, Alejandro gets locked down by that Orc Warrior. I would have to do something like shield wall move the next turn. It's not terrible. So I might just give up Alejandro's attack since the long axe isn't that impactful. Uh, I think that's actually the best move. You might as well shield wall. They're going to try to stun you. All right, Lord Irva, I always wanted to put here. This is a, quite a safe position for him. He got one-on-one -on -one something. Might need the nuts on low settings. So stay put. I'm going to start moving Rhubarb down here for some nonsense. Uh, if he gets stunned, it's okay. He's very quick. He'll always go ahead of the Warriors, which is the real threat. OMG pop. Why don't we put you here? I'm expecting some berserkers or other nonsense to come in. Nataros. I'm going to try to kill that orc young. This berserker is very likely to come in and then we can murder him. He's very dangerous. Frog, you know what to do. Uh, Klaus, I'm going to keep you on the other flank. Because I haven't quite figured out what to do with you. And Rages, we need to start... Getting you hitting these orc warriors now with your um, like 135 damage. Yeah, we need a couple more hits like that and we're in good shape. 
some of them might try to knock Alejandro back. This Orc Berserker could go there or there, hard to say. Let's move Aya over two, so he's got the most flexibility. Okay. Oh, I really thought that Berserker would go ahead of that young. Well, pretty easy. Good job, Pendant. Let's make sure you don't get zone or any such nonsense. Move you back. That's fine. Rhubarb can take it. All right, this is terrifying, but we've got ways of dealing with it. Let's keep footwork nonsense up. I want to, like, I have plenty of fatigue. I want to make sure they come after Tasty Rhubarb. Um, OMG Pop, what's your, you're actually pretty quick. Oh, but once you start swinging, your fatigue is going to drop. Let's uh, use Lord Irva first. And then we'll use you as a finisher, OMG Pop. Alright, alright, yes, yeah, yes, throwing weapons, that's fine. Yes! Oh, thank you, Orc Warlord Champion! Thank you for going after Rhubarb! Thank you, game! You want me to win, don't ya? I'm pretty confident I have enough damage to kill that Berserker, so I'm gonna 84% him and his turn immediately. This one staggers, so we can hopefully kill him quick. Spear wall, buddy. Klaus, wait. Might be able to taunt that Orc Young Ing. That would be fantastic. Ooh, headhunt! Oh, I love it. Probably should have waited. It's okay. Uh, Aspen can actually fight the warriors pretty okay. Let's wait. I'm gonna wait on Aya as well. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. That's. I can. I can work with that. I can work with that. I can work with all of this. This is not a problem. That's pretty scary. Okay. Well done, Lord Irva, breaking that one. Okay. I can work with this. Haunt this one over. This one's gonna double swing on a Taros. Which is a little concerning because I don't have good anti armor. Hmm. 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 Like a net here wouldn't accomplish that much. Rhubarb can get zoned one more time without any morale problems. That's actually kind of a big deal. I can always smoke bomb the Taros out. Don't need it yet. Net, I don't see what a net accomplishes. I'm just gonna do a basic stab. Okay. 
You know you want tasty rhubarb. If I stand here, none of them can attack me. I'm gonna taunt the orc young over. OMG Poppy are only really good against soft targets. If I evacuate this position, you never know. One of these orcs might try to come in here. That would actually be good for us. Let's uh, put you over here. Alejandro can deal with those two. You might come up here. We'll see. I'm thinking he's going to come here, actually, against uh, Klaus. Uh, save your fatigue, buddy. Taros. Netting you, what would that accomplish? Not very much. You can actually take some hits. It's not impossible. 94%. Well done, Aya. Alejandro, um... I'm actually going to do this. Step you over one. Make sure we lock those guys down next turn. Or Irva, double swing. Didn't really do much. You have Relentless, so we could wait. That's fine. Yep, that's all expected. Well, we have to free up Nataros. So swing on Pendant. Step back and end your turn immediately. That's good, Alejandro. Good job. Yes, yes, throw your nonsense. That doesn't really do anything. 79%. I could AoE. What's my 74%? I get one AoE per fight. It's not terrible. Ah, the knockback is actually really, really bad. You might get stunned. You have to wait, Rageous. That's fine. Yeah, Rages, don't forget, has both Survivor and Nine Lives. Okay. Get him, OMG Pop. Well done, buddy. And your turn immediately. Go after Rhubarb! Yes! Oh, Rhubarb! You're too tasty! Too tasty for your own good. You can always footwork and uh, make sure you don't get zoned and you don't break. Honestly, if we sacrifice you this battle, I'm not even that sad. Stab, low, move low settings back, end your turn. Ataros, 75%. It's not great, but it's something. You have to end your turn immediately. I don't think you can die. Ooh, okay, I know what to do. Let's footwork. Get this warrior chasing you. Wait. That way you can still go pretty quick. All right, Aspen. Double swing, end your turn immediately. Krog. We're going to figure you out in a minute, Krog. All right, Aya. Swing and aim. End your turn immediately. This is going to suck. Oh, he went for a stupid flank. Yeah, Nataros is fine. Rages is also fine. Need the infinite shield wall. Tasty rhubarb, you know you want him! What can we do? We can taunt this berserker in here and then murder him. That seems pretty good. Lord Irva, get the warrior. Was a 90? Oh, 93 miss. Okay, wait. We do have a lot of damage here. Uh, this one might have to distract with Klaus. We need to just concentrate all our damage on this Orc Warrior. Uh, and your turn pendant. Yes, yes, throw your weapons. That's perfectly safe. 
Oh my god, Rhubarb! The greatest warrior known to man! Uh, you do not have a shield in the pocket, low settings. I'd stab the Berserker since he's the only one I'm actually worried about. I think there's a. How many characters do I have? I, uh. You know what? Better better play it safe. Alright. With John Nataros, you have a Headhunter stack. We might be able to do something with that. OMG Pop! Oh! Oh! So strong! Okay. One, two, three, four. Rhubarb is a god of war. What more can we say about Rhubarb? Let's get... I don't want this warrior ganging up on Rages. So let's taunt you. Aspen, this one's broken. So go after the other one and your turn immediately, buddy. Frog, double stab. And your turn immediately. Five turns. Rages, you might die in this battle, but it is what it is. 84%. I was debating, like, getting Aya up there, but no. Let's wait on Aya's. Let's see it. when this guy dies, what happens. Alright, Klaus, you can tank him for a while. I'm worried about that. Okay, good job. 40% dodge. Wow, Rageous, you are tanking like a boss. Actually, gonna end, well, Alejandro, no, I'm gonna end Alejandro's turn immediately. This some of his fatigue back, it might be relevant. Well done, okay. OMG Pop, what can you do? You can wait here. Zone that one. Oh, thank you, Rhubarb. You are the greatest. You are just the greatest, buddy. Wow, we're gonna need to concentrate damage. So let's step over, Aya. Oh, can't hit. Lerva, get over here. Swing, wait. This one's under control by Klaus. Uh, I don't know what that Berserker is going to do, but swing away and end your turn immediately. That's fine. Yes, Rhubarb! The god of kiting. He is a veritable god. Of that, there is no doubt. What are we going to do with you, Krog? Honestly, Aspen can fight those two by himself. Kind of want to get a little more surround bonus on this Berserker. But the Berserker is just like derping. Although the Berserker could do something over there. Still pretty dangerous. Let's get, let's get Krog over here. Get a little more surround bonus. Wait on low settings. I haven't figured you out yet. Okay. Let's concentrate 90%. Good. If we can break him. That, uh, that finishes him off. Well done. Okay, we broke another one. Let's, uh, wait on OMG Pop and figure out what to do with you. Klaus, you should just be able to shoot all. I don't think Orc Warriors are smart enough to push. Let's lure them back to the main group now. One, two, three. Alright. Taros, Headhunter. I guess here Headhunter is not that great, but I'll take what I can get. Good job. That broke him. I'll take that. We'll move uh, you out, Aspen, to fight that Orc Young. Aya, you already got that one, so let's not worry about it. This one's being not being taunted. I really want the Fearsome procs, so we're going to do this. We're going to wait. 
next time we're gonna taunt on Klaus. Let this, and then um, might be able to kill that as it flees. A single swing with a long axe won't do anything here. Wait, an Alejandro. It's okay. It's okay, Rages. You're fine, buddy. Although I do kind of need your. Neither one of those is um, a problem for the Orc Warlord. I need your hit on that Orc Warlord champion. Uh, you actually have nine lives, so you have two more hits. It's really good. <laughs> And I'll be honest, if the Orc Warlord Champions run off, I am legitimately okay with that. Like, I don't feel compelled to fight them. Those settings, stab away. Alright, I'm gonna proc more morale checks now. Taunt that one. I start moving my characters back towards the main group. Okay, you know what? Let's get ready for some extra hits next turn. Andro, get your fatigue back. There's nothing else for you to do. Go for the hits! Alright, pendant. End your turn. Uh, that one's being taunted. Damn, I did not see that. Okay. 66% and Taros, wait. Huh! That work young really did that? Surprising. Go for the break. Good job. Rhubarb's infinite kiting! Infinite kiting nonsense. Well done, low settings. Fear some. Uh, yeah, end your turn immediately. That might be relevant. You're taunted. Shoot. 86%. Well done, Rageous. Okay, we're gonna need to free up Alejandro to do some actual tanking. Infinite footwork nonsense. I have to say, it's working. Stay put, Rhubarb. Prague, I didn't put a better weapon in your pocket. Let's just cause more morale problems for now. Not sure what to do with Alejandro yet. Wait, can't even get over there. Pendant? Ah, uh, swing and a miss. You might as well wait now. Okay, that's totally fine. Although, actually, that's not maybe totally fine. Well done, Nataros. Step up. Go for the break. Yes, well done. I'm actually going to move you here. Try to bait the... One, two, three. Hmm, maybe not. Let's try to bait the Orc Warrior up here. We're going to get my two-hander. Nah. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. Recover. Get ready for the boss. Alright, one of the morons is running. Uh, Lord Irver, you're not going to be super useful against either one of these. Why don't you go chase him down? A footwork and then step everybody back to to get ready for the incoming nonsense
Yeah, might as well swing, right? Like, fatigue neutral. That's kind of the whole point of this. Might as well shoot. Alright, gonna move Rages up. I could taunt the Warlord over. Let's see what they do before I do that. I really want rhubarb. Okay, that's fine. Two, three. Rhubarb. I'm not so worried about your more your morale problems anymore. But I got some more uh, sneaky shenanigans I could do. I'm gonna focus all our fire on this boss. Up to your bill hook, buddy. Let's step back. If I step back, the orc warrior is gonna get himself in here. If I don't step back, he comes here. I think I'd rather him being there. Oh, he's running! Okay, I will take that. Uh, wait. Might actually go chase down that warrior for his EXP. Oh, come on, Lord Urba. Okay, I don't care about that young. Let me think about where I put everyone. Obviously, I'm gonna move Klaus here to taunt. Klaus is going to get very hit very, very hard, but it's okay. I actually don't have that many melee damage dealers. I will move Lord Urba up, if only for the bonuses. Pendant. Step back a little bit. 95%. Let's move OMG Pop over. Move. Uh, I, I don't want to put Nataros there. It's a little dangerous. Frog over, just want like bodies, you know. Done. Eight turns, Klaus can shield wall. Wow, this guy's got hit points for days. Got 92% hit, okay, good. Aya, step up. Use your Bardish. Good job. Wow! Okay. Got the headhunter stack. Uh, you have the potion? Klaus? Uh... Why? Did you take less damage? I can't even tell. Okay, good, good, good. You did take less damage. I was like, that was the whole point of the potion. All right, now we're just gonna try to proc morale checks on this thing. There we go. Okay, the battle's done. We won. Took some injuries on um, Rages, but my God, 
Thank you, infinite kiting nonsense. And the fact that the Orc Warlord had good initiative worked out perfectly. Uh, so I wouldn't have any morale checks. Rhubarb, you are MVP this fight. That stupid footwork nonsense build, I can't believe, actually worked. Like, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Okay, Font of Strength. No longer suffer any additional fatigue penalty for using orc weapons. Hmm, interesting. Very, very, very interesting. If you find a good orc weapon. This one I don't think is a good orc weapon. Not actually sure. It doesn't look good though. 40 to 70, I think that's the standard amount of damage. And the 35% ignore armor, 110% against armor. You know, I'm going to loot all this and then we'll figure it out. Is it orc weapons? So the shields, you still suffer the penalty? Bah. That's disappointing. Alright, I know I have some inventory slots free, but I'm sure I will loot more stuff out here. Rhubarb. MVP that fight. I can't believe that ridiculous nonsense strat actually worked as well as it did with the infinite kiting. Well done, buddy. Well done. I, get, I mean, with this origin, I need to use nonsense like that just to survive. And the... I wonder, would that have been possible if you have a crazy high fatigue pool? Something like that may still be possible with a regular, oh, regular origin because you need like to spend up to 40 fatigue a turn. If you have like 100 fatigue, you might be able to do it for a while. Rhubarb with his athletic pathfinder, he's actually only spending 5 fatigue a turn with the potion. That's why he can do it forever, right? Could it be possible with other origins? Maybe. Hard to say, like you just need a gigantic fatigue pool. Uh, I will say, Rages, you've earned your time off. Relax, heal up, get your initiative up, because why not? And then sit back and enjoy uh, healing up until you get your hit points and all that other stuff back. Uh, anyone else? Uh, ooh, low settings, congratulations on the level up. More of this nonsense. I might actually take recover on you specifically for the library like we'll figure it out rhubarb did i go dodge on you no i went anticipation wow that's easy then i don't even know what weapon to give you it's probably throwing weapons right it's gotta be throwing weapons but i can figure that out next time thank you for watching